Hi guys, this is Sophia. Uh, Sharon has asked me to put together a quick video today to show you how we use Canva. I think it was Brian that mentioned it in the Facebook group and uh, we actually use Canva for a lot of different bits and pieces. No doubt you will have seen some of the stuff that we've generated with Canva. Things like tips images, our their blog post uh, featured images, things like that. Generally, we will use Canva to create those because it's really easy to, to use, very, very quick, and the graphics that are available to us, the options available, are actually really, really good. So let's get started. So if you log into your Canva profile and then go straight to your dashboard, you're going to see this screen here. Obviously, these are some of the uh, images that we've generated previously. You want to start by creating a new design. Uh, they've got the most popular ones at the top here. We're going to go ahead and click on Facebook post. You'll see that this opens up in a new window, which is really handy because it means you can pop backwards and forwards to your all of your other designs without losing your new uh, post image. Once you've opened up this window, then on the left hand side in the layouts menu, you'll see a bunch of different really fun interesting unique uh, images that Canva the almost templates that Canva have already generated for you most of these are free as well which is really handy so you want to scroll down through all of these find one that you like you can obviously also start from scratch you don't need to use these but they're a really really good starting point if you're not sure what you want to create so let's go ahead and pick this one here as you can see this one's got four different images in it and it's also got a title box over the top so if we were to change this text let's say you know we like the way that this looks we like the layout here but we're not obviously from where we stand isn't going to necessarily work for our organization or what we want to do so if we select that box and then hit ungroup it's going to pull those two elements apart so then we can edit them just go ahead and click on it select the text there and we'll change that to hello Underneath, you might want to put your logo or your name in there. That would be a good place to do it. So if we delete the little text box that we've got, so just go ahead and click on it and then go into the top right hand corner and hit the delete button. You'll see that one goes away. Now you can upload your logo. We actually have our logos and other promotional stuff already pre-uploaded in Canvas. So it's super easy for us to just select them and then pop them into whatever we're doing. If you go over to the very left hand menu and hit uploads and then just go ahead and upload your own images to find your logo but we're going to click on logos where we've got ours pre-saved scroll down and find the one that will work for that spot so just click on it it will appear in the center of your screen just resize and then drag to where you want it to go Canva's got some really handy guidelines as well. If you see when you shift things around, it's going to tell you that little line when it's exactly spot on in the center. So you know that it's perfect there. Just drop it there and you are ready to go. With text, it's super easy to change the fonts and the colors, the sizes, things like that, all the, all the regular stuff. What you want to do is go ahead and click on a text element. So let's go back to our hello box. Up in this uh, top left hand menu button, uh, you've got the uh, texts, different fonts here. So if you go ahead and click on that one, this drop down menu is going to appear. Scroll down, they've got some really fun fonts in here. So just find one that you like. Let's go with Glacial and Difference. Click on that and then it's going to change the font in the box. If you want to change the colour, just hit the colour button. We've already got our contents box colors preloaded again in here, so we're going to go ahead and go with our orange. And you're ready to go. If you want to add more text, just go on over to the text button on the left hand side and then hit one of these buttons here. You can add a heading, a subheading, a little bit of body text, or then again go down and pick one of their pre created uh, formats. So if we were to add a subheading here, you could just pop in good morning let's shift our hello up a little bit so there's a bit more space for our good morning we want this to be in the same font so let's put that one in glass in a difference as well now as you can see we've got four pictures on this uh facebook post they're not necessarily going to work for us either so we might want to change those out canva has a lot of free images that you can choose from 
They also have a lot of paid images that you can choose from, which are typically about a dollar a piece. A uh, little tip from me would be don't ever pay for images. Now, I'm not saying go ahead and steal somebody else's work. Uh, don't ever post images, share images that you don't have the rights to do so. But there are so many resources for royalty free graphics, images, content, that you really don't need to worry about paying things like a dollar for a small graphic on places like Canva. You just need to find the right places to source that royalty-free content. So quick little tip from us. Our favorite website for doing this at the moment is a website called Unsplash. That's U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H. So if you go over to Unsplash, obviously in a different window because you don't want to lose your Facebook post, and then pop down what you want to find in the search box there. Let's just pick a word at random. Let's go with giraffe. So yeah, you just pop what you want to find into the search box, hit enter and it should pull some stuff up for you. So we've got some lovely giraffe pictures here. So let's go ahead and click on one of these. If you like the, this one in particular, you just click on download and it'll download it directly to your computer. Let's go back to our Facebook post. Go on to Uploads, back over to the regular upload section because we don't want our giraffe picture to go into our logos folder. Cl click on Upload Your Own Images to find the one you want and then it's going to generate in this section over to the left. So we're going to click on this one. This obviously now our giraffe has appeared in the centre of our screen in our editor window. If you want to pop your giraffe in one of the frames that have already been put there by Canva, you just pull it over and then drop it into that particular frame. You would see there that Canva actually kind of grabbed onto that image and then pulled it into that section. We can do the same again with some other images that we've already got preloaded in our upload section. So let's click on this one here. Again, drag it over to this frame. Canva will recognize it as being an image and then pull it into that frame. If you wanted to have one single image above all at the back, what you would need to do is pull it over again to the main area so that it sits on top of everything. You want to resize it so that it's a little bit bigger than your background, and then Canva will automatically recognize it as a background image. Then to remove the other pictures that are sat in front of it, you just select them, hit delete, and then you'll see that that background image is sat quite nicely in the back, ready to go. So there we are. Uh, once you're ready and you're happy with what you've created, just go ahead and hit download. Select the file type that you like and then download it. I really hope that helps, guys. If you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments.